I have a new gecko, a leopard gecko. Watch as I set up a temporary 10 gallon enclosure for him until the 40 gallon I have has been cleaned. I'm so excited. So excited. Welcome to Serenity Bell Outdoors and thank you for watching. I wanted to start off with this enclosure by laying down paper towels so it would be easier to observe my new gecko that I have named Pinky. Pinky is a rescue gecko that I received from a friend that does not have the means to care for him properly so I was happy to take him in for her. And I decided to pick up a few decorative items from the pet store to arrange in the enclosure along with some items that are already had in other terrariums. These will be transferred to the 40 gallon enclosure once it has been disinfected and all clean. Pinky is only a couple months old and you'll get to see him enjoying some treats to eat later on in this video, so please stay tuned. I thought these fossil looking items were really cute and would make for a cool theme in the enclosure. I wanted to see the best ways to arrange them. I also decided to add some wood pieces that I had on hand to give Pinky various things to hide behind and under. Leopard geckos are so unique and fun and have such amazing personalities. I can't wait to get to know Pinky and his personality all together. He hasn't really been handled much with his prior owner. Um, so I'm going to take things really slow with him and not trying to rush and just give him his space. Um, and, and then I'll give him a chance to get to know me a little better. So I'm arranging this wood because I do want to make a little hiding space for him. Oh, I see a cricket caught a ride on the piece of wood. Oh, but he can stay in there for later. Might be a good little snack for Pinky. I felt like the paper towels were sticking up along the edges, so I attempted to only wet the edges, um, but that was a fail. Too much water came out. I don't know what I was thinking, but I had to come up with a solution to fix the problem because now everything was too wet. What to do? A few moments later. I decided to go ahead and put down a mixture of soil and sand uh, that I had. That's fine for leopard geckos. Years later. So after this, now I decided I might as well go ahead and fill the whole bottom of the enclosure with the soil sand substrate mix just to get everything even and it just doesn't look overwhelming and confusing for Pinky, even though he might be all right, but I just wanted to be sure. So I wanted to make sure now that I do a nice even layer of the substrate all around. Uh, so this will just take just a little bit more time just to make sure everything is nice and neat. I want him to have a nice welcome uh, to this temporary enclosure, get him a chance to get out the box that he's currently sitting in. I also picked up calcium for Pinky, two kinds, the one with D3 vitamins and the one without. For the calcium that has no D3, I'm going to put it in a little tiny dish in the enclosure or maybe a bottle cap so then he can lick it as needed. Um, for his feeder insects, I'm going to dust them with the calcium that has D3 and then also gut feed them the reptile vitamins just to make sure I keep Pinky just nice and healthy so he can give a live a nice long life um, and then also uh, it's important for them to have a basking lamp in uvb light um, that i have on hand those are important for reptile health and good energy as well it is very important for a leopard gecko to have multiple hides uh, to hide in and feel safe so i wanted to include one in this temporary enclosure the new one that I ordered, the moist hide, is supposed to be delivered soon, but in the meantime, I was attempting to create one with the wood. However, I needed it to be stable so it would not fall down on him, and it was be proven to be quite tricky to make sure that the wood could stay in place and be sturdy. So I realized for that I'm probably going to need more supplies on hand. In the meantime, I believe it is time to bring Pinky in. Oh, I see the little cricket is exploring. So that would be a nice little hunt for Pinky. Yes, he's all ready. Excitement time. And here he is. Look how cute he is. I just picked him up gently and now I'm giving him a chance to explore. I went ahead and just put the wood and everything down. I didn't trust how sturdy it was. And I will put his moist hide in there once it comes in. In the meantime, I believe I'll get some slates or something uh, that he can hide under. But look at him. I think this is a nice little 
temporary enclosure just so Pinky can get used to looking at me in my presence. What do you think? The cricket is right in front of him at this time, but he is totally ignoring it. So I don't believe Pinky is hungry, uh, but it's in there if he changes his mind. If he does not, I will take it out um, and wait for later on uh, just to see if he's ready to eat, just so the cricket won't harass him while he's exploring. I almost forgot to show that I did go ahead and get some slate rocks to make him a temporary little hidey hole to go in uh, for a little protection and to feel safe until that moist hide uh, gets there. Right now, though, he's still exploring. He was inside the hole, but he came out to see what I was doing. Now he's over there uh, behind the fossil. Uh, but I'm going to give him a little bit of time, and then I'm going to try to feed him again. Um, she said that she's been feeding him mealworms, so I'm going to try that. In the meantime, you can have a look at the enclosure, uh, the temporary one, how I have it finished. Something simple, not too much, lots of hiding spots, uh, uh, so he can feel safe. I did put some water in there. I have the calcium cap that I'm gonna put in there as well, um, as, long, as well as a feeding dish uh, that he'll get in a little bit. Uh, once it gets a little bit later, I'm gonna try to feed him those mealworms. For now, I'm just going to give him some more privacy so he can relax. Well, here we go. I have the mealworms out and Pinky is excited. In the back, you can see the moist hide came in. So he has the two nice hides next to each other. But he was very excited about the mealworms, uh, much more than he was with the crickets. Uh, so we'll have to bring those in slowly, but I'm just happy to see that he is eating and enjoying his meal. So go ahead and watch and have a look and enjoy some dinner time with Pinky. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Just give him a quick preview of the 40 gallon. That's going to be all cleaned up for Pinky shortly. So he'll be moving on up. And that'll be the next video. 
Thank you.